Protesters took to the streets of Lebanon to demonstrate against the newly named Prime Minister Hassan Diab, who they accuse of being part of the same corrupt political system against which they have been rallying for two months. Now, crowds lit tires on fire and overturned ga uh, garbage bins in the capital Beirut. Some people also demonstrated outside the parliament building. Demonstrators refused to accept that Hezbollah backed Diab as uh, their prime minister, saying that he represented the elite. الرئيس اللي جابوا لي فرضوا علينا بالاحلى هو مش 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 برضانا ولا برضا اصلا كثير ناس هون بلبنان فنازلين لنقول كلمه رافضين هالاسم ولا كل الاسماء اللي كانت مرشحه لانه ما بتمثل وجهه وجهه الحراك ما ما بترفع سقف سقف مطالبها ما بتحكي باسمها بعدنا عم نحكي بالسلطه السلطه هي اللي عم بتسمي السلطه هي اللي عم تعمل اللي بدها اياه Meanwhile, Diab said that he would quickly form a government to pull the country out of its worst economic crisis since the civil war, which ended in 1990. The new government was formed after protests against the ruling class forced Prime Minister Saad Hariri to resign on the 20th. أيها اللبنانيون، جهودنا جميعاً يجب أن تتركز على وقف الانهيار وعلى استعادة الثقة. وعلى صون الوحدة الوطنية عبر تثبيت جسور التلاقي بين جميع فئات الشعب اللبناني إن الاستقرار السياسي والأمني هو اليوم ضرورة قصوى وهو حجر الزاوية في حماية البلد the judiciary has tried to hold the former dictator accountable for his actions, but the army, together with Imran Khan's government, seems hell-bent on discrediting the court and suspending the sentence. Just to jog your memory, the court's order directed the authorities to drag Musharraf's corpse to, uh, to uh, Islamabad, where um, it would hang for three days. Now, the judgment has spooked the Pakistani army. They are now saying that the judgment is beyond humanity, culture and religion. That's quite a passionate defense coming from the army. Afwaj Pakistan is not only a leader. This is a leader. We are all the people of the people and the people of 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 the आज अगर मुल्क को ادارے की कुर्बानियों की ادارے की परफॉर्मेंस की और हमारी यकचहती की जरूरत है तो हम दुश्मन के डिजाइन में आके उन चीजों को खराब नहीं होने देंगे और इंशाल्लाह हम मुल्क का भी उसकी इज्जत का भी उसके वकार का भी और ادارے की इज्जत वकार का भी भरपूर دفاع करेंगे अब की وزیر اعظم پاکستان سے تفصیلی بات چیت ہوئی इस फैसले के आने के बाद अफवाज पाकिस्तान के क्या जज्बात हैं और मैं मीडिया देख रहा था एनालिसिस देख रहा था उससे रिफ्लेक्शन मिल रही है कि जो मुहब्बे वतन पाकिस्तानी हैं जो समझते हैं कि पाकिस्तान किन खतरात से दो चार है उनके जज्बात को भी देखते हुए हमें इसको आगे लेके कैसे चलना है यह आर्मी चीफ और وزیر اعظم پاکستان کی بڑی تفصیل سے بات ہوئی ہے فوج اور حکومت पिछले चंद सालों से मिलकर मुल्क को उस तरफ ले जाना चाहती है जहां हर किस्म के खतरात नाकाम हो जाएं और मुल्क उस तरफ जाए जहां हम जाना चाहते हैं और इंशाल्लाह वहां हम जाएंगे Joining the army in their mission is Imran Khan and his government the army questioning the humanitarian aspect of the judgment but the government has gone a step ahead and questioned the mental status of the judge and these comments came from the law and justice minister of the country. So what's the Pakistan government's playbook here? The idea is to discredit the judge and his mental capacity and thereby strike down his judgment. Now, they have also lodged a presidential reference against the judge. This is an attempt to take Pakistan into the dark ages. 
ये मेंटल कैपेसिटी इज लैकिंग मेरी समझ में नहीं आता कि इस किस्म के ऑब्जर्वेशन देने का क्या अथॉरिटी थी जज साहब को And it's not just the law minister. Pakistan's loose uh, ca- loose cannon Fawad Hussain feels uh, that the court should have shown more restraint in his judgment, and Pakistan's railway minister feels that the judgment will widen the civilian military gulf. And all of this does not bode well for Imran Khan's credibility. The opposition already calls him a selected prime minister of the army. Now, by openly shaming judges and supporting a former dictator, Imran Khan has given credibility to these calls. Statement was echoed by the Pakistan Bar Council as well. Its latest statement does not read well for Imran Khan or the army. The council slammed the army for its comments, calling it a contempt of court. The federal government's support to the army also attracted criticism. According to the Bar Council, this confirms that Imran Khan was installed in his position by the army.